In this tutorial, I'll show you how to draw a simple roof elevation in AutoCAD. So here on the screen, I've got my floor plan with dimensions, and I have uh, the beginning of two elevations, one for the front and one for the right side. And that was done in a previous video. What I want to do now is to draw the roof. And it's really important as I do this that these two elevations are lined up. And the way I did that is by drawing a line across and then moving the other one so that it was uh, perfectly straight with uh, the one on the left. To start my roof drawing, there's a couple of ways that I could go about this. One is that I could start a line and then simply type in the angle of my roof. However, a better way that I found is to actually do it by rise over run. And rise over run is simply how much the roof goes up per every linear foot. So let me use my line command. I'm going to zoom in on this corner. I'm going to turn my ortho on. And let's say that I want an 8 and 12 slope on this roof. So I'm going to go up 8 inches. I want to go over 12. And then I am going to create a hypotenuse. So I'm going to turn my ortho off and I'm going to go back here. So this is the actual slope of my roof. My rise is typically always a whole number. Uh, so for example, I wouldn't want to do 7.5162 as my rise. Uh, you want to use whole inches, 6, 8, 10. That will make it a lot easier during construction, especially if we're going to be building rafters on site. So I've got the slope of my roof. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to draw a line down the middle. So I'm going to select my midpoint. I'm going to go straight up. And I, it doesn't matter how far I go, but I want it to be past where I think that hypotenuse will fall. So I'm going to do that. The next thing I'm going to do is go to my extend command. I'm going to select this line, right click to change function, and then select my hypotenuse. And then I can simply draw from there, turn off my ortho, down to this corner, and that is the slope of the roof for this cabin. I can go back and delete these temporary lines. And one thing I want to do is to have an overhang. And in this instance, it's going to be one foot. So I'm going to select my offset tool, type in either 12 inches or one foot, move that out, and then I'm going to extend this line out to the line that I just offset. So extend to here, right click to change function, And I want to do that on both sides. So offset, one foot, extend to there. And the next thing I want to do is to add some height to this, some trim. So let me make that, uh, let's say, three and a half inches. So offset, 3.5. And I can use my fillet tool up here at the top. So fillet, select that. And on these corners, I can do some trimming. So I'm going to select these. And I'm going to trim those items off. And I'll do the same thing over on this side. I'm actually going to get rid of that line. All right, so that looks pretty good. So the advantage of having these two elevations lined up is I can use the one here on the left as a reference for how high it's going to be on the right-hand side. So to do that, I'm going to take my line tool 
I'm going to start here. I'm going to turn my ortho on. And I'm going to come out a little bit past there. And I want an overhang all the way around of one foot. So I'm going to draw a line out 12 inches. And then up to this line. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Go there. Now I can do some trimming. Now it's close, but it's not quite right. So if you notice here, this wall is partly hidden because of this overhang. So I need to adjust this line to be further down. And the easy way to do that is simply create a line, picking up that point and moving over, and then picking up the next point, moving over and then I can extend or I can let's try fill it I'm going to do fill it from here to here from here to here I can delete this old line and I can do some trimming so let's select these hit trim so I want to get rid of that one, just make sure, yes. I want to get rid of this one. And that one. And that one. And then those two little lines there. So now my height is correct, as well as my view from the side where this fascia board or this gutter board is the same height on both views. That's how to draw a simple roof elevation in AutoCAD.